partial trust. Um, I was really struggling to find a support service that would help me and meet me where I was at. Um, I didn't meet the thresholds of many of the other higher level mental health services. Um, so I needed to find people that would take me in, look after me, direct me to the support that I could access. So I struggle with tiredness, particularly in the winter. And as a result, my mental health had declined to a point where I needed to leave my job and just take time out. But obviously that affected us financially. Sure Trust gave me a monthly appointment with my navigator and she directed me to different services that were going to help me. One of the services that she really, really um, recommended was the activity box, which gave me something to go to every week, do something creative. And, and it was satisfying coming home and bringing something that I'd made with me, um, which felt like I wasn't just in this abyss of depression where I'm doing nothing. Sure Trust helped me um, because they took it at my pace. I wasn't expected to miraculously recover within 10 weeks. They met me where I was at and they made it so that the services that were offered to me were bespoke to where I was having difficulties. I wasn't just signposted to a helpline and I wasn't just signposted to therapy. There were actual practical support services out there that could help and do real difference. I'm much more happy, confident, I'm working. Um, I had uh, quite a distant relationship with my son because of postnatal depression. The activity box helped with that too because we had family activities together. And now I love spending time with my son. We do a lot of craft together um, and it's something that we would have never done before. The Live Well programme accepts people. They don't have that judgment on you that you have to be have these symptoms in this period of time um, so that's how it reached me and helped me. I think Hazel um, moved me to tears today. <laughs> Hazel's story was uh, one of her struggle with postnatal depression and the bit that I took from Hazel's story or many parts that I took from Hazel's story was that she'd never heard of us. We really need to focus on prevention. We need to look at how mental health has the same kind of parity as physical health conditions and Hazel's words today really inspired me to champion that and uh, make sure that we're fighting as hard as we can for people to make sure they can access the service.